Today I'm going to make a little, well it could be a main dish or a side dish and it's for my vegetarian and vegan friends. Uh, they've been asking me to put something together uh, without meat. It's hard for me to do but I'm learning. I'm trying to have a little less meat in my diet to try to be a little bit healthier. And uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to have long grain brown rice as well as some quinoa. You don't see that too often in recipes. And it's an ancient grain. It's uh, got very good fiber and uh, a lot of good nutrition in it. But so usually I put a chicken stock or a beef stock or something making uh, a rice, and we're going to use a vegetable stock. Uh, pretty simple to do. You can pick the vegetables of choice, honestly. But you should almost always have some kind of onion, whether it's a shallot or a sweet onion or uh, anything uh, that you'd like. Maybe uh, the long green onions. I cut. I uh, basically chopped up one whole sweet onion here. And I'll put that right in the pot, which has got some soft butter already. Look at this, parsnips. Yeah, I said parsnips. They're delicious, uh, they, but they do have to be cooked uh, for a fair amount of time, pretty much like onions. Um, even, maybe even a little bit more because it's kind of in the carrot family and they can be a little tough. So what I'm going to do is chop those up moderately, not too thin. And, uh, and not too thick either. Got to be careful with these guys here because it's in a regular shape. Good way to take off a finger. So then after that, what I'm going to add, get away. He got away. Anyway, I'm going to add some red pepper. Um, it's nice to add all different colors to the to the rice dish. So what I'm going to do is put it all together. And after I saute these things over here, the red pepper, I'm going to add some asparagus. That's going to go in the last 10 minutes. You don't want to overcook that. It doesn't eat a lot. So I'm going to throw this all in the pot and then put it on the fire. Well, the onions have caramelized very nicely, as well as the parsnips. Nice sweet smell coming from it. Now if you're a vegan, you can use, say, uh, olive oil, and if you're not, you can use butter. Or you can use a combination of both, it doesn't matter to you. So this is sweated nicely. What I'm going to do is add the water. I've got two cups of water over here. And to do that, I'm going to add one cup of the brown grain, uh, long grain brown rice, and also the quinoa. We're going to mix that right in. gently so we don't splash over here. I'm going to up the heat a little bit and I am going to add the uh, sweet red pepper and we're going to cover that and in about 15-20 minutes I'm going to add the asparagus but for now we're just going to let this absorb some flavors into the rice. Alright so another thing I'm going to add to this wonderful mixture of the grains and the uh, vegetables is some fresh herbs from the garden. I still have some of the roots on from over here. This is basically, we're going we're gonna to get a couple of different spices. We can add anything we want, but orange mint and oregano I think is going to be just what we need for this. So we have the orange mint over here. It's got this incredible smell to it. And there's the oregano fresh from the garden, the spring garden. It's nice and green. I'm just going to take a few uh, Sprigs off over here. I think this is actually going to be enough. I might chop it a little bit over here. Just give it a little bit of fineness. You, uh, you know, it's amazing how much uh, this will carry. This, just this little bit right over here. It's going to add a, an amazing amount of flavor to the dish. And then another two things I'm going to add is a little toasted sesame oil at the very end. It's actually a finishing oil. You don't cook with it. It's, it's done mostly for flavor. And look at the secret ingredient. Kraken black spiced rum. Shh, don't tell anybody. All right, come into a nice boil over here. We're gonna add those spices. And it's time to add the asparagus. I don't want to have it overcooked. And I did trim the uh, stems off. You know, you want to peel the last quarter or so because it's very fibrous and tough. Ooh, it's starting to thicken up really nice. 
So in a little bit what I'm going to do is add a bit more water to it. You always want to keep some water handy because um, it's probably going to eat the, uh, add a little bit, you're going to need to add a little bit more as, as time goes on because the rice really absorbs it and it's not an exact science. You could say one cup of brown rice to uh, say two cups of water but it might add a little bit, you might eat a little bit more. And if you have too much you can just let it burn off. Aha! Uh -huh. The Kraken. Shh, don't tell anybody. I'm adding about, ooh, okay, that's going to be about a half cup. It's to flavor, really. You can add a little bit more, a little bit less, but the spiciness to it is really nice. You can add any kind of rum you want, but I, I like this particular type because of the flavor. All right, we're going to cover that up and let it run for maybe another 50. It's done. I just took it off the stove. Oh yeah, it's perfect. There's still a little bit of moisture left in there. And you want that because it's still going to uh, absorb a little bit of the moisture, the brown rice and the quinoa. And here's the toasted sesame oil. Like I said, it's a, it's a type of condiment more than anything else. You don't really cook with it. And it has an amazing flavor. I'm just going to stir that in. And we have got some beautiful colors here. Let me tell you, with the sweet red peppers and then the asparagus, and all those grains. Now, about uh, flavoring it, salt and pepper to taste. You can add whatever flavorings you'd like to it, actually. You can add a little um, uh, uh, garlic powder or real garlic. Um, I, I tend to stay with the sweet onions when I, when I cook. Um, I, I will add garlic, but um, it's a little bit more sparingly. I want my friends to want to stay around me. And uh, anyway, once again, long grain brown rice. This is the stuff is wonderful. It cooks a little bit longer, but it doesn't have all these strange ingredients like in the box mixes that you would buy. And the quinoa, whole grain quinoa. They're both organic. If you can buy organic, support it. It's a great thing. And we're done for dinner. We're gonna put a little in a plate over here. And it's gonna look pretty darn good. Alright. There we are. And the finished product. Happy eating!